dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Not too sure where this game's going. Well, we pulled the bra. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okie doke. We found a pair of panties as well. Um, alright. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Okay, the music is definitely getting louder. Oh, look. Here are our people. Did we? Oh, I mean, that's an, another bar and another pair of panties. Okay. There's a. Uh, oh. Yes. There are two. <laughs> there are two naked ladies out here. Hey, he's going to mess with our stuff. Don't go back there, you dick. I don't like this. Whoa, we Chelsea don't... Lily. Shit. Just uh, don't do the fireworks, all right? That's it. Point. Teens, they are drunk. Can we like... Oh, here we go, look. We've got a boombox so we can... Hey, that go okay? I mean, yeah, it, um, it went fine. It went fine. I, uh... Oh, wow. Um, the music's uh, a little loud. Oh, sorry. I took sorry. the stereo. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then. Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Oh, yeah, this is the life, guys. This is the life that everyone wants to live. You know, you're in a peaceful, bear-infested wasteland of a forest. And what better way to spend your time than trying to, like, collect beer cans, you know, shout at naked girls who are setting off fireworks on a lake, steal their stereo, and then spend your time walking back, listening to some banging tunes, Oh, yeah, look at this. So we can examine it. I don't know if there's much point. Oh, look at this. Can I, like... Ja, ja. <laughs> I don't know if we should keep this or if we should just, like, put it down or, like, just get rid of it. I'm like, can we run with this? Oh, what's here? Um, uh, how do I get back? Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Head west back towards the lake. Oh, okay. Uh, hell of a nice camping spot. Hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Okay, we're, we're gonna leave the music behind for the time being. Uh, she said head west and then back again. Is that true? Whoa, whoa, whoa let me get my map out here. Cause she said go west and then head back where? We're over here. We don't make us right there. I like how we actually named it on the map. That's kind of cool. Um, so she said head back and around. Is this the right way? I feel like we're supposed to be heading this way. Because back there doesn't give us much apart from just like a dead end with those the girls on the rocks. I assume we're supposed to keep going this direction. <laughs> back towards the flipping stereo. We will keep going this way. I'm going to try and head... West. Like this way? Can we like drop down? Oh, we can hop over. Okay, this looks like a good direction. Does it look like up there is going to be the way? Ooh, a raccoon. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. <laughs> We're whispering. I can't understand you. <laughs> because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> She is, she is quite the person. Pears, pears, pears! Oh. Yes. What the hell? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> oh. <sighs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's Thanks. grand. I mean, I'm not quite sure why, why, what you, you're doing whilst I do all of this. This definitely does not look like the way, though. This looks like a bit of a dead end. So I guess we'll head back. That was just like a little raccoon area of the, of the game. Welcome to the raccoon zone. I'm not quite sure what the, the point of that was, but we'll head back this way, I guess. 
We can't get up the... Oh, we're kind of a little high up here. We can't get up the, the, the Widowmaker again. At all. But maybe we can head this way? We'll see. Uh, yeah, we definitely... We're like 100%. Well, I guess we probably... I mean, if we... You could probably get up there, my friend. You could probably, like, you know, do a little bit of rock climbing, maybe. Like, try a little harder, but no, it's fine. We'll just continue jogging ever so casually around this way. Um... That's even more flipping. That's even further down. Oh, my goodness. How are we ever supposed to get back up if all we're ever finding is cliff faces? We should have probably reported that, that cliff face and seen if it, if it uh, like, gave us something. Uh, I wish you could kind of re-listen to what she's already told you so I, I could listen again to what she said. She said head back towards the lake and head west, right? <laughs> someone, said I, someone in chat said, I'm very confused. My friend, I am with you on the confusion train right now. Like, the game has not given us a whole lot of story to, like, we know who we are, like, the person we are, we're Henry. Um, we've kind of... I guess taking a job far away because our wife is gone. We've lost, like, the person closest to us. But as far as what we're doing out in the middle of nowhere here, I have absolutely no flipping idea. Like, I don't know what our job is supposed to be. We were told to head back towards the lake. I will head back towards the lake. Um, the girls are no longer near the rock. Oh, do we head this way? Trail sign. Hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Aha, okay. So this is the way we're supposed to go. Whew, okay. This is good. This is good. We'll see if we find any more raccoons. This is getting very, very close to night. I think the game, like, we could have probably stayed in that area forever. I don't think the time, the day-night cycle, like, changes whilst round about. Because it did look like it just changed as soon as we switched over there. It's the sun, it's setting, right? It was like 6.45, I assume, p.m. when we um, when we woke up. So I'm assuming the sun is setting right now. Okay. It got very rocky. Like, not, not, not necessarily rocky, but it got very, like, orange. <laughs> very quick. Like, very sandy. Like, surprisingly so. It's a nice, like, little trickle of water. I have no idea. Can we walk across this? Of course we can. No idea what the heck is going on. Uh, I mean, I guess we should keep jogging. Oh, I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. You don't yeah, say. Well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's no big it's deal. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Sounds anyway, good. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okie doke. Alright, so there's like a little bit of... Not necessarily parkouring, but I'm not quite sure what the point of this ledge there was. But, uh... I mean, oh, this is... Oh, is it going to start raining? Nearby storm. Of course it is. Of course it is. I've been playing a lot of Rise of the Tomb Raider. I thought my, like, character was going to, like, turn sideways and shimmy through there just then. Um, not the case. <laughs> not the case at all. Alright, it's so a nearby storm. That's fantastic. I can hear it rumbling in the background. Jeez. Okay. Those kind of look like uh, faces, almost. This is quite the way back. Where's our... Like, I... Where's our... Oh, okay. We got a cache. We've also got some pink flowers. Can I, like, report these? No. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> they're not interesting enough. Uh, supply cache. Code is always one, two... Three, four. All right, what do we got? We got a new map, so we can copy the information of the map and get, like, a new idea of where we're going with stuff. That's interesting. What do we have here? We've got defend our frontier. I guess we're defending the deer against the bears. It says as we take a horn. I mean, can we, like, call this in? There's a it's horn a here. Horn or an antler or whatever. Well... Antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. Leave that in there. Uh, I don't like the fact that we're giving, getting given a flashlight. Ah. Oh, there we go. That makes me think that we're going to be out here in the dark. Can I, like, talk about this? No, I can't, I can't call in the flashlight. 
Uh, someone in chat said the little eye, when the little eye shows, it means I can report something on the radio. So, I guess we'll just look out for that. Maybe we're supposed to report the storm. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't like the fact that we've been given a flashlight. Flashlight usually means it's going to get dark and it's going to get, like, a little scary, maybe? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Got to keep an eye out for raccoons because apparently that's what our guy likes to do. Uh, okay, I can see, like, a leaf. A whole lot of barrenness. And a whole lot of dead trees. Oh. Utility pole. Oh, I see it right there. What are these power lines doing out here to the north? Those are comms lines. They connect folks like me to Central Command. Got it. And if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and far, far away from Two Forks. You should head back. Oh. <laughs> okay. We should head back. Or do we head back? Or do we head forward? Do we ignore the rules? Do we press on no matter what the cost? You know, I think we do. I think we... We know whatever. We don't always have to listen to her. Who's she? We press on. Oh, there's something out there. Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. So... Uh, what? If you're doing the same job I'm doing, why are you telling me what to do? Okay, so we've gone too far, apparently. What happens if we keep going further? Do does does something bad happen, or do we, is this the way we're supposed to go? Like, do we have? Well, this is like a dead end. We can't go anywhere further than this. Or can we like push? Nope, we can't push through. Okay, we can't go further that way. Maybe we can go further this way. This looks like it might well just be a. do oh, I don't know. Oh, this is a house. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello. Okay then. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her light's still on. <laughs> We're about to head into a cabin. We've been given a a, a, a flashlight. I'm scared. This is a zombie. I'm. Go <laughs> oh no, it goes down. Oh no, it goes down. Oh, this is somebody else's. This used to be a watchtower. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, God. We've got a destroyed guitar. What the heck happened here? She did kind of ignore us when we talked about this. Oh, oh my! <laughs> oh, that got me. That got me. Oh, what the heck? Jeez. Holy crap! I think I might have just gotten rabies. Go on. I'm, I'm sniffing around an old lookout, and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Well, there's uh, just the one, but yeah. Apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. Haunted places? Tell me about this haunting. Okay, go on. Out with it. You want to hear about raccoons? <laughs> so, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? Horse fights? We got a cool cat. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout... There was a break-in, and the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. But just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry. So he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. 
He skinned Eventually, a raccoon? Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. But one night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it and again heard a tiny voice. Help! Help! He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and, of course, nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then, a figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley. Loud at first, and then smaller and smaller until they faded away forever. Help! 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 And that's the story of Raccoon Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley moaning, Help! Help! On hot summer nights. If I hear one person say, Help! Help! Throughout this game, I'm gonna freak. Um, so Raccoon Carter died? So if Raccoon Carter died, how do we know this story? They found his body ripped to shreds by raccoons. And and Hawk's rest was filled to the brim with raccoon pelts. It's probably what caused the fire. That doesn't make, any, doesn't sense. make any sense. Does anything, Henry. Okay, well, the reason I stopped here is I want to talk about this uh, old outhouse. And I also want to look at this note as well in a second. Oh, come on, let me... Uh, I think I found where Raccoon Carter did his business. Pardon me? There's an old outhouse down the hill from Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, I guess it probably is where he did, um, that. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about the notepad. Hey, I've got a notepad here in the outhouse near Hawk's Rest. Looks like song lyrics written by a guy named Carter. Wow, there's a 0% chance it's a happy song. Yeah, it's definitely not. Is it not? Let's have a look. Old Shoshone? Oh my goodness. Refrain. I'm heading off the old Sho Shoshone? Where the birds and bees won't know me, where men and the war don't exist no more, and there ain't no gals to keep no score. I'm taking off for the woods to a place where there ain't no shoulds. Don't need no books. I'll ponder the ponderosus. Don't need no lady. I'll marry the mariposus. I can't waste no time in getting there. I'll do 80 down 80 without a prayer. Don't need no gal. I'll, I'll spruce up for the spruces. Don't need no pal. I'll change my mood for the mooses. If you're wondering why, where my ass beam, it's been carv carveting with the... What the heck is this? Don't need no grass. I'll get altered among the alders. Don't need no mass. I'll grovel before the boulders. Alders? Maybe not alders. <laughs> I'm headed off to old Shoshone, Shoshone, where the elk and the owls won't know me, where there ain't no judges whom I got a plea, because I'll be, because I can be me in old Shoshone, maybe? Shoshone, I think, makes more sense. Well, um, can I, can I keep this, actually? I can. You know what, let's keep it. Why not? We'll let his work, maybe it'll be a hit song. Maybe it'll be, like, number one. Um, we'll, we'll keep it going. Uh, we'll, we'll release it when we get back home. I'm sure, uh, Taylor Swift will be all over it. All right, we're going too far. So, whoa. There's a lot of, like, half-dead trees here. So, apparently we're going too far. Which way do we have to go? I know she mentioned the cave. If we have to go through a cave, I'm going to flip. Because I'm not, I'm not about the cave life, all right? I'm not about running through caves. That's not what I signed up for when I took the job as, as, as Firewatch man. Um, now, which way do we flip and go here? So we're going to head back. And she said we didn't turn west of the cave or we turned north of the cave or something like that. So I guess we'll, well, I'm just going to keep going this way and eventually hope that we come across some kind of turning point that we didn't find before that we can 
change direction and go back? <clears throat> Someone in chat put, Isaac didn't sign up to be a caveman. I didn't. I signed up to be a, a badass mother trucker who lives in the woods, apparently. But I ain't no caveman. Okay, so maybe this is... Oh, oh, come on now. Come on now. What is this? Oh, my goodness. I bet it, this is it. This is the cave. But that's why we're giving a flashlight. We've opened this one, haven't we? Yeah, that was where the... How did I miss this? I must have opened this, turned around, and just gone straight that way. Ah, <sighs> I found the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, <laughs> you can go where you want. Okie doke. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. <laughs> Hello! It ah. doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine <laughs> in here. God damn it! Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, we pull on This gate. cave is gated off. <laughs> It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. It needs Although, keys. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Okay. <sighs> we must be getting close. Oh. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? Oh, I what the heck? I don't think so. I am so freaked Harry, out. There's, there's something I. Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. <laughs> Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Oh, she's great. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> I love the way she said it though it's it's outside <laughs> I'm like oh shit oh okay well <laughs> that guy still creeped me out though that guy was still massively creepy I don't I <laughs> I know this game's got like a bit of a mystery thing going but at the same time I'm I'm it's it's real creepy right now Like, it's a lot creepier than I thought it was going to be when I when I first launched up this game. Huh. There's a lot of rocks to climb. Not surprising, though, because we did have to uh, repel down quite a bit to get here. But considering we're doing so much rock climbing, I don't know why we couldn't just do this back uh, at the Widowmaker earlier. That seems like it would have been a lot easier to do. Oh, we must be getting close to it. How do, who, who just sees somebody, though, and then, like, walks away? Wouldn't you stop and say hi? I'll be like, yo, like, it's weird as fudge out here, isn't it? Have you got this annoying woman on your walkie-talkie? That's what I'd be saying if I came across to somebody. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We got a trail sign. We must be close now. We didn't go that far down. Oh, guys worn out a bit. Not surprised. That's quite a... Okay. That's quite a climb. Oh, okay. Look, our watchtower. Can I look at this? Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Okay, we checked out our generator and our outhouse earlier. I guess we made it back? It's pretty dark. That was, like, a somewhat hot... Ooh. Oh, I told you the music. The music changed. Oh, God, not typewriter. Why is it out here? Uh, that guy's in our thing. Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. Oh, How the someone's hell? out here. You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, what? Oh, I'm so scared. There's no crouch button. Oh, oh my gosh! Look, someone's rummaged through all my stuff. What? Someone broke in. Hey, what? It just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. <laughs> That's just anger. We should put it back.
Come on now, put it, just put it, put it back. There we go. <laughs> okay, can we close? We can't close the door. Um, broken glass. We can't use the typewriter. We can pick stuff up. Like this kettle, but all we can do is okay, just throw it on the floor. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? N no! It's just me! It could be the girls by the I lake, actually. probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, I don't? Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Okay. Day two. That's it. We made it through day one, guys. We're alive. We did it. I don't know if there was much like a point at which we could have actually died, but we're back alive Wake for day up. two. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Um. I don't really know why that oh, I'm not going to have to go fix it, can't I? There's no backup. There's no backup? The backup is the two day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Gosh dang it, this isn't what I signed up for. It's Henry. Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. That's the, that's the only reason somebody would like to be called Hank. But, but thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> uh, someone in chat asked what this game is about. That is a good question. Um, we are yet to figure that out. <laughs> okay, so we've arrived back here. Uh, where is our generator? Because I know my way from the generator back to where we came from before. Uh, oh, can we re no, we can't talk about that. Okay. So we've got to find our way back to the cave we came from. Oh, here it is. Here is our little like outhouse and also generator. When we came from this way, I'm assuming... Can we climb back down these rocks, or is that, like, closed off now? Oh, no, we can drop down for sure. Okay. So, I'm guessing we just go back down these rocks here. Hopefully, don't run into that, like, creepy guy we saw last night. Uh, and also, somebody asked where we get this game. This game's on Steam. You can find it on Steam. Just go there and type in, like, Firewatch. Um, I think it's £14.99, or your regional equivalent, wherever you live in the world. Uh, so, not too expensive. Okay. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, we'll talk about Bucket, uh, our know, dog. Um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Oh, hey, nope. No. I don't think so. Why, have you? Oh, well, he went on the... She's on, she's on the line to somebody else. Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm just gonna listen. Oh! <gasps> I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. 